Okay, I just want to run through these real quick just to try and see if I can name everything. So, starting off at the compost pile, and throughout here there are garlic, onions, bush beans, pole beans, uh, tomatoes, you know, just random uh, garden stuff through here. Uh, then there's the black Thai bananas, the red guava right here. There's lemongrass, uh, apple banana, blue java bananas, saba bananas. Oh, there's also ginger and taro and a bunch of other just supermarket stuff growing through here. Uh, rosemary, I think, is my only herb uh, currently. And there's more ginger over here. There's four fajoa bushes right here in the backyard. And there's the maintenance area, which looks like a big pile of crap right now. Coming over here, there's more of the blue javas, taros, beans, garlic, all the rest of it intermixed into here. Uh, we add potatoes, though, over here. Uh, let me make sure I can see it on screen. So right here is a new potato plant. Let me come over here so you can see it. And these are going to be the purple potatoes here. And they're not growing up just yet, but there's another pile of them here. And there's another three plantings of them going down here as well. So there'll be lots of purple potatoes. And then, let's see here, so we got the blue javas. This is going to be the planting area for the... Uh, let's see, we got... Oh, there's one more banana type needs to go in here. But the apple banana and rajapuri banana is going to go in this little blank area right here. Then there's black tie and another uh, three sabas over here. Starting out here in the front, where you'll come into the newly made garden space, which hopefully you can see just how massive this whole thing is. It takes over half the backyard at this point. Uh, there's a low spot right here little threshold to come in. There is a uh, Olympian fig and VDB, which is like Vila de Bordeaux fig right here at the opening, along with a unknown loquat and a golden, oh that's a new one, hang on, haven't quite memorized that one yet, golden, golden, gold nugget loquat right here. So we'll be having some really cool loquats. Uh, we'll just start over here. This is where the pergola is going to go probably and then there's going to be uh, like an arched trellis wet little thing over here with some vines growing on it hopefully by next year. Uh, bananas, bananas, we already talked about those. So here is the first red navel orange right here. Then there is the Moro blood orange right here. And then I got a second red navel orange here, the Caracara, just because I really like the Caracaras. This is a Beers Black fig. And we have three blackberries. These are Prime Arc Freedom blackberries here, here, and here. They fruit on the first year canes. And even though these are brand new, we do have fruits right here and right here growing already on the first year canes, which is pretty cool because you usually have to wait two years, or a year at least, to get uh, some fresh blackberries. Over here in the corner, we got some hostas going over here, some more taro. This is a test, and I'm not sure if it's surviving or dying, but I cut the top off of the other loquat over there and gave it some rooting hormone and tried to basically stick it in the dirt and see if it grows. So we might have another loquat over here. We may not. Then there is a Celeste fig here, right there. Uh, this is the Santa Rosa plum. It was just too tall, I didn't like it, so I just cut the top off of it, so we're gonna let it regrow there from the start and get some nice, good lateral branching. This is a Jersey blueberry. Then there's the Florida King peach which I believe we lost a lot of our peaches, but there are still some that, yeah, that, that might still go. I, I don't know. But first year, you don't really expect to get anything. Uh, most of them do look like they kind of got nipped by the almost a frost 
Yeah, it's just, yeah. The other pieces look better. Oh, there, that one. That one might actually go. Uh, there's what's left of the stick of the persimmon that I accidentally ran over the trailer. My bad. Uh, this is a Clementine Mandarin. This is a Brown Select Satsuma Mandarin. There's the other peach tree over here, which as you can see, we have a Bell of Georgia peach growing on it right here. And there's still quite a few others going here, here, here. Another one here, bunch of them in there, bunch of them in there. This one did a lot better with that one last chilly night that we had. Yep, lots of good peaches are gonna be on that one. And this is the powder blue blueberry. That's powder blue, all one word, blueberry. That is the, I think it dyed sanguinelli orange. I was pretty sure that it wasn't gonna grow in this zone, but I figured try it, see what happens. Uh, an American beauty berry. And this is the don't tell me sun sunshine sunshine blueberry then there's the austin blueberry over here and i didn't want to forget this one this is the owari satsuma tree this is a satsuma mandarin these are like your a lot like your little clementines that'll be those easy peels those little tiny ones uh, and the brown select satsuma over there it's the same way so, should have lots of little easy peel mandarins. There's a nice little pretty azalea. Austin blueberry. That is the camellia. That's uh, like a, a tea plant. Camellia synthesis. You can actually pick leaves off it and make tea. And this, I really hope that these little nubs in here are going to be persimmons for us. These, this is a fuyu persimmon, which that's like a, an, an eating persimmon. Like you can bite into it like an apple. Really nice. And it's got like a, a cinnamon kind of a flavor. It's, it's very, it's very Thanksgiving Halloweeny tasting. And this is a calamondin bush. Got a bunch of little calamondins growing there. You have to try one of those. Maybe over the winter. This oh hey we got a little bright red ladybug. Go eat some aphids. Uh, so this is an Indian sweet lime right here. Uh, I was told that we can't grow limes here in this area. And that one stayed out all winter long. Uh, so that one and the blood orange over there that looks like a dead stick. Th these are my, my test runs. And I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to get a bunch of limes off of this. And these are the nice, really big sweet limes. You'll have to try one of those too. Black Mission Fig. Uh, this one was a $3 find. Uh, they, they basically just gave it to me because it had broken at the nursery and I grew it. It came back to life. I'm kind of hoping that it forms another little branch coming off in here. So it forms like a V. That'd be pretty cool. This is the Bountiful Delight, which I think is a great name for this. Bountiful Delight because it has very few blueberries on it. Of all the blueberries, this has the fewest. And that's supposed to be a brown turkey fig. It died back to the ground. It did start to grow just a little bit. If you can barely see the green there. Hopefully that kind of came through. And again, we got beans and onions, garlic. I'm not sure what these are. This is, I think this is an onion. I think this is all onions over here. Just randomly planted. Toss them on the ground. They grow. Onions. Let's see, did I get to this one? Okay, so this is the pink lemonade. This is a rabbit eye. They're supposed to be like a reddish blueberry. And those are going to be a lot. That's gonna be a lot of blueberries. Lots and lots of blueberries. It's a good thing I like blueberries. All right, now we're back over here. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything at all? I don't think I did. And yes, yes, I did miss something. Oh, hey, by the way, this is what it sounds like when I do a mic check first and I make sure that my wireless mic is working because then I can spin the camera around and you can still hear me really well, hopefully. So the one that I missed was the methyl plum and I've got this one all tied down. 
Uh, this is another testing run thing that I'm doing by tying down all the branches and getting it to grow nice and flat so that as it grows up it kind of goes out and then all the vertical branches then will produce lots more fruit hopefully so that is the Santa Rosa plum kind of cool but hopefully you enjoyed the tour and all the different things yeah this is a lot of food I like food though I like fruit. I like fresh fruit. Okay, so I'm not really going to edit this thing at all. So you're going to see all the camera shaky movements. All my uhs and ums and uh and whatever. So enjoy it. This is all the grass that I have left. So if you look at the satellite Google Earth version of this, I'm just kind of go off of the sunroom, draw a line. Yeah, this is all the yard I have left. And I am perfectly okay with that. There's enough room for a pitcher's mound to a net. A few little stripes to mow, a little bit of weed eating around. And then tons of food over here. And a wasp. Not sure if that came on through. I'm not sure if that came through on the camera, but there's a wasp just flew right in front of the lens. Right in front of the camera, at least. Oh, and then I almost forgot. Uh, there's papaya seeds in here. They haven't started coming up yet. But we've got some papaya there. Uh, got another papaya right here. Those big old huge papayas. Uh, that was supposed to be a, a lime tree. That's one that didn't make it. Or we're still some, trying to see if it's going to make it through the winters. It is still a little green. I don't know. Another apple banana. Another taro. Lemongrass. Oh, and then there's uh, two more guavas. And this very interesting viney thing looking here is called a, a poha berry from Hawaii. We're going to try and grow that and see if we can get some poha berries. They're like tomatillas from Hawaii. Sounds pretty cool, I guess. If you like weird sounding food, I do. Mm, I think that's it. Can't wait to get back home. Haven't even left yet. Are you ready to go back home?